Hello friends and welcome back to FE Made Easy. In today's video, we are talking about retaining walls. I have an example for you. Before I move forward though, I wanna remind everyone with an engineering degree from outside of the United States, if you would like to evaluate your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Just click the link below and you'll be able to download it for free. Now let's move on with our example. The concrete cantilever retaining wall has been backfilled with clean granular, granular soil. It's free to rotate and has good drainage so that hydrostatic pressure will not build up behind the wall. The backfill, foundation, and concrete have the following properties. Assuming negligible friction between the wall and the backfill, the factor of safety against sliding is most nearly. Let's first of all go to the FE handbook and look for the factor of safety against sliding. And again, I went uh, to the civil engineering part, geotechnical, and you move down a few pages and look for the retaining wall, or you can do a search and just type retaining uh, wall. And here it is, we have retaining walls. And we are looking for factor of safety against sliding. And we have that uh, this formula here is factor of safety against sliding equals to the uh, sum of resisting forces over the sum of driving forces. So let's, you know, I will write this formula down again sliding equals to sum of resisting forces over sum of driving forces now let's see here what are the driving forces and what will be the resisting forces the driving forces are going to be the soil pushing laterally towards the retaining wall. So we have here formulas for the vertical stress and the horizontal stress. So based on the formulas here, our vertical stress here equals to gamma of soil times the height. And then the resultant force, since this is a triangle, it's going to be, this is the pressure, vertical pressure. It's going to be a pressure, half of um, pressure times the height and times the Ka factor. Usually when you calculate, uh, when you calculate a retaining wall, the first thing you want to calculate is the uh, Ka and Kp, if necessary. And you have the formulas for them right here, right under the horizontal stress profiles. But in this case, uh, this problem actually gives us the Ka it is 0 0.3, so we don't have to calculate it. Let's uh, just go ahead and calculate uh, F1, the driving forces, which is the lateral force of the soil pushing the retaining wall. So F1 equals to one over two multiplied by P, which is gamma soil, which is 118 times uh, height, which is 13. This is the pressure. It is 118 times 13, and then we have H again, the height again, and the Ka factor, which is 0 0.3. If you are confused by this formula, I would really like to hear from you in the comments because I would love to come back and uh, explain more in detail. But right now I'm gonna move forward. So let's calculate this. We have 118. 13 squared multiplied 0 0.3 multiplied divided by 2. You know, I'm looking here at the um, 
uh, the entire height, and it's not 13, it's actually uh, 14. We have to be very careful because the soil, the entire height of, of the soil that is pushing is actually from the here, the bottom of the retaining wall all the way to the top. So I will correct myself here and I will write 14. Okay, this is just something to pay attention to. So I have 118, 14 squared times 0 0.3 multiplied, divided by two, and we have 3,469.2. And here, these are pounds over, over foot. Okay, this is our driving forces. Now let's calculate the resisting forces. The resisting force uh, is the weight of the uh, retaining wall and the weight of uh, this soil that sits on the retaining wall. So let's calculate the weight of the wall first. Weight of concrete or the wall equals to, we have two areas we're gonna have um, so this is 3.5 and this is between one. So we have 13 times one times one times 150 plus the next area is eight times one times 150. And this is the weight of the concrete. And we'll have 150, 13 multiply, 158 multiply, plus we have 3150 pounds over foot. And then we have the weight of soil that sits here this soil over here, that it's also resisting because it sits uh, on the retaining wall, equals to um, the area will be 3.5 times 13 multiplied by 118. And we have 500, Three five thousand three hundred and sixty nine pounds per foot. Okay, so now the total weight that is uh, opposing to sliding is the sum of these two, which equals to eighty one nine eighty five nineteen eighty five. 19 pounds per foot. So now the sliding force or the resisting force equals to the total weight times the coefficient of friction, which is 0 0.5. So we'll have 85, 19 times 0 0.5 equals to 42.59.5 pounds per foot. So this is our resisting force and this is our driving force. Now the factor of sliding here, um, let's see, the resisting force, which is 4259.5 over 3469.2 equals our resulting factor of safety for sliding equals to, let's see, 3. 469.2 divided 
Clifford 259.5 divided by, so I'm getting a 123. So the closest one is D125. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps people like you find me. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.